Welcome back to some professional StarCraft 2, a best of five, Protoss versus Zerg. A matchup that has plagued many, especially recently, but I'm happy to introduce a returning Protoss player, actually ranked one, shooting up to the top with his cutthroat builds and uh, smiling style. Dragon Phoenix Gaming's hero. Known especially for taking down the best of the best. We'll see if he can do it against the reigning GSL champion who crushed creator a fellow Protoss. Not as hard as he could have, but still a decisive championship for him. He doesn't care how abusive his strategies are. He's outright said in the past. I don't know if he still feels that way that Zerg is OP. Uh, or at least he's OP. No, he said Zerg was very strong. Um, that was di direct quote. Anyways, it's Rogue. The Executioner. So two different styles. And also, I do want to point a few things out before we get started. Like, subscribe. Yes, that was, that was built in. But we're testing... One, uh, shout out to Bob for the new production tab added to the units and structures tab overlay, which I got to remember to use that a little bit. So these are what is in production or has recently been in production. You can see that alongside what's already done, which is pretty nice for things like Narva and all that. And an extra shout out in the Into the Clan slash Alpha X Super Series. If I could draw your attention to the minimap, I know, I know. But we now have the technology to see the player screens. So I'm super excited. Like, this is incredibly helpful for me. Uh, as a caster, or at least a wordsmith. So that way I can see what the players are focusing on without having to jump over to the player camp. So honestly, despite knowing Hero has a new sort of Protoss versus Zerg style cooked up, or at least he has lately, all of that, the gameplay... Like, we've seen... I've, I've cast... Five, ten thousand games before played five times ten times that but this is the first time i've seen this implemented in a replay so this is new and exciting all right get excited now now is good right uh, we'll see how it fans out what is this wall off hero walling off with one pylon adding a stalker stargate in the maze pylons are these are, it's a definitely an original setup. I, like, neither pylon is your regular place. You saw Rogue checking there. What's happening at the front? Slaps down another pylon, like... Pylon's not exactly the most, like, creative building. There's not usually a lot of room for, uh, a unique take on where to place your pylons, but so far, Hero is already off to an interesting start. He's got an Oracle coming in. We'll give high ground to the Ovi. The Ovi obviously will, will di maybe die, actually. I'm not sure. The Oracle obviously revealed here. Lings in towards the third. Hmm. Able to block the hatch of the pylon scout if he builds it there. I like, I like Zest's take on the pylon placements. Which is just send another probe. The way Zest does it, it took exactly three minutes. But I think it's relevant. It's not just bringing up Zest because of his amazing physique or his incredible brain or his attitude. None of that. No, no, no. His actual gameplay. Where Zest is like, let's stop being fancy and just send another probe. <laughs> like, uh, but a lot of Protoss players have their own take on the early game blocks and all that. I do. Rogue? Uh, understands the value of having creep between all his bases. No Susan here. Two spore crawlers in the main, but none of them really protect that left flank. A stasis, though. Rogue a little bit late on the draw, but maybe actually perfect. I take it back. That was about exactly when that was needed. All of this with the uh, uh, double oracle here. Just keeping Rogue busy. Rogue at 53 drones, though. So, 55. Oh, another stay. Oh, the du what? Double stasis? Is he gonna add another one? 
Oh my god, this is the most damage you can do without doing any actual damage. I do love the stasis place. There was a, a, a meta. There was a time for, like, if we think historically, stasis wards were... There, there was, like, a year where we tried out having stasis wards as, like, the main harass option. It's just that Zerg players kind of figured out you patrol a few lings and they just kill the stasis. Uh, but every once in a while it crops up and Zerg players kind of forget how to deal with it. <laughs> they gotta remember, oh yeah, wait a second, you just kill the stasis. Yeah, and, and it appears Rogue realized that here. Oh my god, a fourth. Six minutes in. The fourth base at the same time as Rogue. A stasis in the main. He catches the drones. Oh my, another one. Oh, stop right there. Stop. What? <laughs> Rogue is spending so long running away from stasis wards. He's had no opportunity to actually build units. Hero has stopped building probes at 62. He's adding gates. Double upgrade. Mass gateway man style. It... It looks like his intent. Okay, he's adding a few more probes. I wanted to get the gateway explosion. He's going to brawl it out. This is not total carriers. This is not going to be a huge splash damage army. He's actually looking to overwhelm with gateway units. Rogue has been slowed down, but stasis wards don't actually kill anything by definition. In fact, they prevent things from being killed, which is kind of the point. So, while Hero's going to have a strong ground army, it's not like Rogue has been slacking. On the production. Oh my god. Another one. Drones play another stasis. Another one. Even Moracles. He does find one drone over here. Rogue is down to 66 drones because he keeps having to build like spore crawlers buildings. Like. <laughs> where's the prism? Once you see a prism, you know the attack is on the way. Well, does he even have a. He doesn't have a robotics facility. I guess he could just warp it and blink it across. There's Revelation to start denying the creep rogue. Has plenty of army supply. But these... It's going to be double upgrades. There's no upgrades yet for rogue. Plus one melee on the way. But he doesn't even have that many lings to work with right now. Blink's back. I do love this style. But it is a risky play. As a Protoss. One bad fight. One bad blink. Recall's not going to get you out of it in time. You're going to lose a critical mass of units. But... Hero actually 10 probes ahead. He's a, wait, who's Zerg? Which one of you is the Zerg? We rarely see this mass gate style. I've heard like I, I did hear that Hero was trying this out. Um I guess when when we saw he got that buff against the top tier players, what it really meant is double forge, which uh Okay, some zealots fighting. They have one one, but a full surround from the Zergling should be enough to clean them up for now. I don't... How many oracles are left? We still have... Oracles! Just stalker zealot. Another round of zealots coming in. Look at the incomes right now. This is stupidly high income. Both players are mining still off their mains and up to a fourth. This is the highest income part of the entire game. Because at some point you start mining out of your main, your natural, and the outlying bases are much harder to defend. So, I expect a fight as they both start maxing out. Neither player has any interest in later game units. It's going to be Blink Oracle against Ravager Ling on the right front. Plus two, plus one for a hero with an upgrade advantage. Another, he's just adding oracles into the mix. DPS oracles. There's only six queens. Any queen shaved off and the oracles might be able to run the table on their own. The, uh, there's very limited anti here. Of course, corrosive vial is a big danger. Stasis wards is kind of a backstop here. Did Rogue, Rogue has to know that's a possibility. On the other side, the Zealot's running in. Hero is maxed out on these beautiful stasis! The stasis force field! A few more units fighting, but another squadron of Zealots makes their way into the natural. Blink Stalker's moving forward. No Baneling speed! Where's the Bane speed? It's still a long way off. He kind of forgot it. One Zealot makes it into the natural. Gonna start slaughtering some drones. 
The rest of the zealots cleaned up. Four drones down. Stasis clean. Well, they did. Blanks to the other side. I'm not sure how effective that was. More zealots warped in. Another round. The zerging will continue until the zerg are dead. Gross about the zone. You see Rogue looking the other way right now. Moves his camera back, but two queens assassinated by the assassin. The Oracle Count. I love it. The Moracle build in full force and just melting through corrosive bile. Goes out of the way. Corrosive bile only hits Zerg units. The Blink Stalkers handling themselves well enough for now. The Banelings not doing very much damage to them at all. Rogue down to 133 supply. Blocks in. Spine. Well, those are actually spore crawlers because there's no anti-air. Four queens at a time being produced. But Hero, another round of units. 2-2 two, two is done. Banling speed helps out a lot. Clears out a round of zealots. But look at... He's got 90 probes! Here, well, what the hell? I don't... He's got one, two, wait, wait, one, two, three, four, six bases. What are you doing? Absolute madman. Rogue is getting overwhelmed by the sheer amount of Protoss. He's, he's desperate, like, fighting into Corrosive Bile on creep. It's a dicey endeavor here with the Banelings as well, but Hero is battering him down. He hasn't lost too many oracles. He's melting through the queens. Kurosabao will have to be launched on top of everything. Force field added in. Boxes out. A few banelings trickling through. Not nearly enough anti-air. Of course, the oracles do- Oh, the shotgun blast! The air burst hits a bunch of the oracles. The oracle count dropping dramatically. Ravagers doing their best. Rapid fire off the mark. The zealots are in the natural, though. And Hero just overwhelms Rogue. What? Is what he's at four he ended the game at forty three hundred minerals a minute. That is ri Well That Imagine just trying to spend forty three hundred minerals, let alone every he had seventy gateways. Well, you know what? This isn't how I thought this series would go. No carriers here. Uh, all right. Game two. Well, I have expectations now. I love the addition of the oracles. This is something, like, a lot of Protoss players, historically, oh my god, have felt like, all right, I've tech switched. Okay, like, I'm now going for the ground army. Like, we, we put the Stargate, we put it in storage, and we bring it out when we need carriers. Okay. But he just kept adding, and it makes sense. Because what is something you can use against that heavy Ravager Baneling army? And that is the chosen ground army, like the mid-game ground army for Zerg. Hydras aren't really the choice, they're just not very cost-effective. Uh, they're way too expensive compared to the Ravager Bane Link. And they don't do nearly as well against the mass gateway style, unless it's literally just like Stalkers. So, the Oracles force... And, and here's another point. Is Oracles do spell damage? Yes, they are energy-based, though Zerg does not have EMP, much to their dismay. Um, since they do spell damage, that means armor upgrades don't matter. It burns right through. Like, queens have a base armor. Any carapace upgrades doesn't matter. They still kill in the same amount. Uh, so... That... We rarely see that factored in to the actual... Actual fight. Like... But... Hero... The stasis, the, the keep away into brute force, kicking the door kicker style. All right. Okay, you have my attention. I remember a couple months ago when Hero had just come back from his military service, seeing a game 
I don't know. I don't think it was against Rogue. Maybe Solar or Dark. Where he went for this very heavy upgrade Blink Stalker and then like Immortal Disruptor style, I think, was what he filled in with. But overall, it was super fun to watch. But then he missed like two Disruptor hits and lost his entire army. Uh, because their Lings got us around, Ravagers landed Crossbow, etc, etc. It appears the special sauce is the Oracles. It wasn't the Robo units, because Robo units have the same weaknesses as Gateway units in being dedicated ground, right? Like, they're countered by... They can be countered by the same things. Whereas Oracles and Stargate units in general, obviously, do not have those same weaknesses. It is a much more micro-intensive situation. You do have to... Like, Oracles are not a, a particularly tanky unit. They're not, they're not for fighting, they're for winning. And that is the big risk. But Protoss has, much of the time, been about using those glass cannons and blasting apart your opponent. So I'm excited to see it, and it looks like we're going to look for more. Adept. Shades all the way in. Gets. What has he seen so far? He's saying no second gas. Very unlikely to be a roach warrant. Just confirming. God, the greed is so real. Six base Protoss. Are you insane? No. He's just ahead of the curve. Oracle comes in. Whoa! Okay, all right, all right. And he's not done. Finds five. Uh, a bit. Now the queens strongly suggest the oracle leave. Unfortunately, they cannot fly. Not anymore. Another oracle. Trying to play both sides. Ah! Try, I, I am see you're trying to spread creep. Are you sure about that? That creep gonna be kind of important in dealing with this style. One of the few advantages you have. And immediate oh stasis. Handled another. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he he pushed him out of the spores into the open field where two moracles came in and slaughtered drones. Oh, come on. So this is just reinforcing my long held opinion as a professional ladder hero, pun somewhat intended, that most of Zerg's early game is getting cyber bullied. And it appears Hero has brought that back. Um, I, I started really forming this opinion during the Battlecruiser meta. Which was when queens would throw their knitting needles at the flying laser bathtubs and strongly suggest they leave. So now it appears the oracles are just gonna... Like, you, you stick your neck out and he's going to give you a wet willy. That's really where we are now. All you can do is minimize the damage. Ah! He's just gonna wall it! Like, this is not- he's not just taking this base. He's securing this base. Yeah. That has- that the words are important- words mean things! But actions mean more, and look at- oh my god. What, is this a campaign mission? Uh, an oracle, the stasis board handled. Rogue? Rogue? What, is, what is he? He has three zerglings. His army has three zerglings. What is he gonna do? What are you gonna do, Rogue? What's your plan? Like, and how do you put it? He's building a Hydra Den. Oh, no. Break in case of desperation. 
the Hydra Den comes out. Is it the right call, or is it just a further admission that he doesn't have a plan? The double revelation is even... Oh my god. Oh, by the way, there are rocks here. I forget about all the time. Another stasis shut down. So, now we do... <gasps> he spotted the Hydra Den and immediately double robo. Oh my god! Uh, he's gonna... By the time the Hydras are in high enough n number with their upgrades, he could have Colossi or Disruptors. But... Uh, the Oracles give such constant scouting. He's already building Immortals. I would be insanely surprised. I would be startled if there was not a robotic space soon. But maybe he just wants to brawl it out. It would startle me. Hero, are you going to... Maybe? He's like, I will win this matchup convincingly with zero splash damage. Last game, he won convincingly with zero splash damage units. Which is exactly the opposite of how you expect Protoss to play. Both in Protoss vs. Zerk and in general. There were no Archons, no Colossa, no Ruptors. Carriers aren't a splash damage unit, but they're, I think they're kind of a special category all their own. He's, he's not even bothering. He's not building a Robo Bay. He has the money. He's just... There's the Templar Archives. All right. An admission that Roach Hydra is just incredibly cost-effective against single target. There's a finally. He's got the gates... I think he needs to add the storm. A potent combination. Oh my god. This is base, though. You need some Ravagers. Rogue needs some Ravagers. He doesn't have Hydra speed done, so he's not able to remaneuver here. The Zealots are actually just running by, dragging some of the Roaches back. Rogue backing off. Just to deal with this. The Stasis Field. Lurker done on the way. Probably a smart choice. These were sacrificial zealots. Rogue is maxed out on this Roach Hydra. Whoa. Ovi. Tags the army. Now, this is a dangerous position. Right now, Hero does not have a maxed out army. His, uh, he's still got a lot in the in the mail with upgrades, with uh, unit composition, like he doesn't have... Oh my god, the immortal count. That chrono boost going to work. How many immortals is that? He's got six immortals. Recall? Oh, it hurts, but he does get out. The cannon wall? Oh my god. I mean, he built a Templar Archives, but we still see no Templar. No Archon. Yeah, eat him. Oh my god. No, he's just gonna bash right through. Now, is it enough? The Hydras, you need some Lings, ideally. Maybe a few Ravagers as well, but Rogue, he is maxed. Like, he's got a maxed out army. A oh, beautiful force field. Roaches coming in from the left flank, but our roach is actually what you need right now. Reinforcement should be coming along. Immortals holding the line. Blasting through. Not so great against the Hydras. Hi uh, stalkers blink back. A couple of mortals shaved off. Concave's still good for Rogue, but he needs the reinforcements. 29 more roaches in production. Three lurkers on the way. A bunch of zealots being warped in. Got into the composition. Hero not finding as much progress here against this more classical MIG game. A bunch of zealots gonna try to drag the army back. Retreating towards the stasis field loses more immortals. The the hatchery, you're just moving right back up. How many how many gates? Eleven gates. He's just throwing down as many as he can. He doesn't. Have, he's got twenty five hundred gas in the bank. He could make a do well, not a dozen, but like ten archons right now. He, it's, it feels like it's almost a matter of principle he hasn't done that yet. The Archons aren't particularly ga great against Roach Hydra, but like... 2700 gas! Alright, and here we go. He says, well... Need something a little stronger. 
power. Oh my, it's not a super pylon. Oops. The lurkers are out. Can he fight? Now, now this is the next test. Ranged lurkers are on the field. How many oracles are left? He lost all his oracles. There are no oracles. He's going to need, well, Robo Base starts. Disruptors look like they, they may be the choice. Are there any observers? He has no detection. If ever there were a time. Yeah. You know, you, no, you can't. No, you need detection. This is awkward. He's got an observer on the way. Bit the base is done. Not expanding as ridiculously aggressively this game. But Rogue only, Rogue only has a tenuous fifth. Like, this is his fifth. It's only halfway done. The Zealots got it. Oh. Whoa. I don't know about... Uh, this is a bit of a, a pincer maneuver here. Hero is able to retreat out. The Lurker's moving again. Immortals working their way over. Like, they're just kind of waltzing by here. The Lurker's not quite in position to deal with this. Trying to bait it out. Might be able to kill the base. 12 drones died. 15 drones at the base. Warps into the main. Uh, the Lurker's scrambling to try to figure out where to go. Rogue's been mostly maxed out. He just maxed out and nowhere to go. Well, he, he can't figure out where to put his army. Hero has exerted so much map control. This is map control, by the way. In case you needed a definition, this is what map control looks like. Hero is able to just keep Rogue on this side of the map uh, around a zealot warpins. I don't know if that was worth, but the low, no! He is losing his grip a bit here. The Lurker is able to slash down from the high ground. The Blink Stalkers not able to get into the main, but... Oh, and just as it looked a little dicey, the Ruptors in a mothership in production. Slams a couple in another Stargate because right now Hero is like, he is admitting that this ground army might be a bit much. And he starts the carriers. He's tried, I gotta give him all the credit. He really has put on a ton of pressure. But Rogue has not broken. He's not in a great spot economically. He has very little in the bank. But that is a lot of lurkers. The Ruptors flung out. Purification Nova doesn't quite find the mark as Rogue Micro's back. Looking for a couple more shots. Rogue, oh no! Two or three more lurkers down there. Just leaning in and flinging out a volley. Hero continues. Oh my god, the power units. He's got, like, the army, there's one adept somehow in there. But the army is a mortal archon ruptor. Oh. The big toys are out to play. Probably the strongest ground units Protoss has. Flinging out more volleys, chasing down, just clicking on the lurker and hunting it down. The spread of lurkers to preemptively deal with ruptors. I love how Hero is, like, he's feigning like he wants to fight, but he's actually freeing up small amounts of supply at a time. Like, he doesn't want to waste it. He doesn't want to just throw it away. But he's actually freeing up just enough supply to be adding in carriers. That's what he's done. He's slowly phased out his stalkers. Okay, well, he was able to... Rogue was able to yank one carrier in. Viper's on the field. Might need some Templar here. The Disruptor's at an awkward angle. The Abdogs an entire broadside! Oh, wow! He's like, well, you can't abduct all of them at once, which is technically correct in this scenario. Meanwhile, two Immortals just bash through the third. Me... It looked like Rogue might win the battle, but the war is still going quite poorly for him. When was the last time Rogue attacked Hero's side of the map? I'll spoil it for you. He hasn't. I guess if you count trying to get up the ramp at the fourth... The probes! The battle probes! So, I've always kind of wondered out loud, why don't you just kill your own probes if you need to free supply? 
And the obvious answer is to show your opponent you don't need them anymore. Which is... You can pretend all you'd like. It's quite a mental victory. Get over here. A time warp. And minus 400, minus 400. But he did get the army out of position, but still, like... Mothership once again proving its value, which is very little. 13 probes died, but that was intentional. 15 drones, very much not. Tempest with tectonic destabilizers. The Dorito dusting that rips down those buildings. Spore crawlers specifically. Oracles being added back into the army. Gets a revelation that only hits one lurker. A bit of a mistake there, but feedback on the on the vipers. This is the most action-packed sky toss game. Well, it hasn't been sky toss until right about now. Rogue has with lurkers kind of forced the game into this position. I don't blame him. Obviously, the ground army was incredibly cost-effective. All Rogue has figured out so far is how not to die. Now comes the hard part, which is winning. Especially against this army. Hero's Micro is just... His control, immaculate. His composition, diverse. And his positioning, beautiful. Pragmatic and polished. And alliteration is always amazing and articulate. And subscribe. Tempest, the read of dust complete, revealed. The destabilizers ripping through. The carriers. Hero has money and gas in the bank. Rogue is barely keeping 200 supply. Oh, God. Viper feedback into Tempest Balls. <clears throat> Even more coming out. The Tempest yanked in. We'll get a couple. But at what cost? Meanwhile, a few roaches on the other side being handled by cannons. Plus three shields is in production. The Sky Toss Army recall is still available. Moves into position. Fires a volley. Gunk gets three! Looking for more broadside! Full volley! Half the lurkers down! The carriers cover! Feedback across the bow! Hero! Flings out everything and somehow manages to retreat and Rogue is done! Wow! Oh my! One more time, please. Can we go to the... The rogue action cam. I mean the hero action cam, rather. Oh, this is rogue. I meant hero. So this is hero. He's like... Wait, is that just roaches? Moves on with his life. I'm gonna slow it down. Yeah. He was maxed out. <laughs> oh, sees it. Templar, disruptor. Look at his control groups. Flings out a couple ruptors. Another volley. Controls manually the purification novas. Templar on the vipers. And then backs off, but Rogue is like, I'm done. Now, now, now in real time. A little, little further back. I gotta watch one more time. The revelation he added in at the start, too. Oh my god. Wow. Um. Rogue's gonna have to go back to the spawning pool on this one. So, game one. The brood force protoss zerg style overwhelming the typical ravager baneling 
game two. Rogue adapts and goes lurkers in order to stop the ground, but that opens Hero up. He's playing the full spread right now, and and that is the answer. Like it, twenty-five lurkers, you disruptors can only do so much for you. <laughs> Will Rogue figure it out? The key is the oracles. The the thing is, a lot of it rests on the very fragile yet important oracles. And continually microing and, well, keeping control of them in the early game. That's what all this is built off of, is map control and vision via oracles. So... It is, it is a bit of a fragile way to play, I think. But... It, it gets so much for so relatively little investment. And I'm not even... So far, Rogue doesn't seem to have an answer to it. Like, he's built multiple spore crawlers. He's spread his queens out. There aren't any other, like, anti-air options. Like, for Zerg... And this is what Hero is, is using and abusing. There just aren't any other options for Zerg. Like, you just... There is no... <laughs> you have spores and queens. That's your anti-air. Until you get a lair. Maybe you can rush a lair, but... Since the oracles are always in your base, they'll see it probably the second you do it. By the way, no hatch block from Hero. He didn't send the probe out this game. So, interesting. Rogue does take his, his naturey for once. Huh. I wonder if we'll see something different. Like, I don't think, I don't think you need to. This, I criticize a lot of Proton. I'm, I'm here to criticize players who are in order of magnitude better than me. That's my job. All right. We here, especially on the NA server, are very good at criticizing better players. That's why they always win the ESL NA Cups. Anyways, I criticize a lot of Protoss, like top-level Protoss, because they feel the need to switch it up for some reason. Like, Hero has played two convincing games, two strong, decisive victories against the GSL champion. What I would rather he not do now, and I, I see a lot of Protoss do, is just, I don't know, maybe play Twilight or something. I get it with Zest, because Zest is Zest. But... And that's his whole strategy, is essentially not having one. But, no. Okay. I love it. I, I was concerned it might be that, because he didn't go for the hatch block. But it is going to be a Stargate. Once again. The Oracles are doing... His Oracle Micro... They're quite a finicky unit, too, in how they work. They have a long acceleration and deceleration... Um, which is not something we usually really factor in, but it makes it very rewarding when microed well, but very easy to micro poorly. Because, like, if you get them stuck in the wrong spot, they don't start moving fast enough and end up dying to, like, queens or spores or something. So there's a lot of little details uh, that Hero's doing to make these so incredibly annoying and effective. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of looking... I do like seeing Rogue get beat up for once. I'm completely unbiased and neutral caster, but it's nice to see Rogue get knocked around. Um, He's usually the one deciding how games will go, but this has very much been Hero controlling everything. More gas, moracles, and another thing Protoss has struggled with, historically, is is having a stable build to rely on, in general. It always feels like a, a, if a Protoss plays a build too many times, eventually it gets figured out and countered. And then you that's why you kind of have to play that deck builder Protoss and mix it up every other game or something, just to kind of keep your opponents off guard. Slides in, four, five... 
Oh my god. Six kills. Yeah, he took some damage, but smooth. Smooth micro. And Rogue is not... He's going for plus one carapace. This may be a Ling Flood. Or even just a... Uh, a queen push. Adding a roach warren. Yeah, adding more gas as well. Like, the carapace upgrade is also kind of a... I don't know what I want, but I should probably get an upgrade. Charge first this time around. I think it's been blank the last couple of games. Adding more gateways on. Rather quick. Five more gates. It's going to bring us to seven. I see one more in a moment. There you go. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. That's going to be nine gates. I, whatever, just keep slapping them on. And it's not like he's slacking on probes. He's not stopping on probe production. There's no robo. Rogue is just now getting his lair. Uh, not late, but definitely not quick. Not nearly in time to do anything about Rogue or uh, Heroes Third, rather. I can't wait to fail at this Oracle Micro on the ladder and then just lose all map control and get run over by the first round of Roaches. I'm excited to try that out because that is where I see it going for me. Unfortunately, this is one of those styles that's like, it's good, but also, I'm not a hero. This is a different flavor. He's actually hitting way quicker here. 67 drones for Rogue. What are his units? Um, he's got some queens. A couple ravagers. The oracles are getting a little forward. Another round. He's building proxy pylons. What year is it? Some more force fields. I'm not sure if those help or hurt. Warping in another round. Why not? We'll get there. He already took down the mineral wall as well. Is that just, is he just gonna win? Uh, yeah, bunch of upgrades in the mail right now. Eleven more roaches, but the queens are dead. There's no ant here. He, it's over. He just wins. He just came three zero. Against the GSL champion. Hero sweeps Rogue. Rogue was trying to adapt. Rogue got greedy. Rogue was playing last game. He was playing the... like He was playing like, I'm going to skip to the mid to late game so I can deal with that ground army more efficiently. So Hero just kind of stabbed him in the throat. Jimmy, can we check that card again? Uh, it was a temporary one, but... I think... I think it'll stay for now. Yeah. Well. I, uh... That happened. So... Moracles? Revelation? And, uh, is this the new way of playing Protoss? It's more exciting, at least. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that. I'm excited. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Good luck. Have fun. Stay chill.